For Rich Panico, the CEO of Integrated Project Management, creating an award-winning company starts first with creating an employee-based culture. Hear how he does it in this short video, part of our Champions of Responsible Business video series. I think that the first and most important question is to ask yourself as a leader, what are your values? And to, to clearly uh, define those beyond thinking about those, getting those on a piece of paper and saying, if I'm going to create a culture, and if it's going to be a values-based culture, it should be one that reflects my own values. Because in order for me to be authentic as a leader, right, it is critically important for me to first uh, acknowledge my own values so that then I can create a value, station, a value statement or a mission within the company that clearly articulates those. So that is a, that the first thing is really, it's really about you as a leader. It's not about some external feature of a culture. It's about you because an organization will always reflect its leadership. The second thing that is, is, is critically important is to decide that you are going to consistently behave according to those values because it's not enough to take something and articulate it and write it down on a piece of paper, whether it be in a mission or in a value statement, and to believe that somehow because now you've created this doctrine that the organization is, is absolutely going to follow that, that doctrine uh, as it progresses. The third thing that is, is critically important uh, to enable you know, this, the, this, this venture, if you will, or to create this type of culture is to bring the right people, you know, to invite the right people to the game, get the right people on the bus, however you want to refer to it. And in our own company, uh, we consider this the most critical aspect of, of being able to enable our culture. You know, I had, had mentioned to you previously that we typically will consider 100 to 150 candidates before we make a hire. And half of the interview focuses on what we consider the character elements. So it's going back to, you know, 24 years ago, creating the values that I believe were important, those that, that were important to me in my life that I believe are non-compromising value, values. So we still operate with those values being very prominent, but we've embedded those in our recruiting process so that, so that when we're talking to candidate, you know, if eight or ten of us are going to be interviewing a candidate, half of us will focus to just the character elements. And what, you know, what does an individual have here? The last piece of it is to continually reinforce the values within a company. Uh, behavior, leadership behavior is absolutely key. Consistency is absolutely key. And I'll tell you about something in a few minutes. You know, just an example of, of how we reinforce this. Uh, promotion on an ongoing basis. Uh, I write an article for our newsletter once a month. I guarantee you that the nine out of ten of those articles deal with our culture, our values, what's important uh, to this company beyond just making money. Rarely will I ever focus at all to the performance of the business. I will focus to the performance of the culture and adherence to to our value. So it's bringing the right people on board continually you know, behaving in accordance to those values, making decisions that are consistently aligned with those values, promoting them the right people, because if you make a mistake promoting people, then they are going to, to, to begin influencing the culture in a different direction.